Brandy. I'm getting some stuff prepped for later on as well. Some fun things that I want to try. I'm going to give it just a few more seconds and I'll get started. I have my cup started. I'm really excited about what I finally decided to do to it. it took me a while. Hey, Felicia. I'm doing a live Saturday on Puzzle Tumblers, and it's going to be the um, stainless glass tumbler. And so I always like to try it first before I get started. And so since I was sitting here waiting for you guys, I went on ahead and started putting on my double-sided tape. So how's everything going with you guys? Talk to me, talk to me. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm just putting on double-sided tape for my thing on Saturday. I think you'll be excited when you see what it is that I'm doing. Just kind of willy-nilly putting it on. And then this is the one we're going to be doing in just a little bit. And I'll tell you a little more about it. You guys should have gotten your glitters in. This is one of them that I'll be using tonight. I'm using three of them. You know, I haven't even done one of those yet. I think I'm a little scared. You know, I can talk to you guys on a video or on a telephone, but I don't know, talking to people to their faces. I don't know, I might be able to. I mean, I do it to preschoolers, but that's different, it's preschoolers. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, what you will need to make this cup, is this is the 30 ounce, I'm gonna pull you down a little. This is the 30 ounce traveler. And in your kits, you would have gotten the leprechaun and that's the shamrock. Debating on using this, probably not, but just know that it's in there. Um, this is the green you would have gotten in your kit. Really neat green, this is called Sherwood Forest. This is really great for making the holographic look. This cup has luck of the irish on it i love super sparkly now this isn't real sparkly because i've already put the glitter on it and i've sanded it so that it was um more even for the next application but when i put my epoxy on it in just a little bit um later on it'll be this sparkly again so this was part of your kit the sparkly 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 and i will be using the black which she's looking for a name for. This is the, the holographic. I say this is like um, a black hole because it literally sucks you in. It's so pretty. And I'm going to be using the gold. My attempt tonight will be to do an ombre. So I'm gonna start from the bottom, black. I'm gonna go to about right here and I'm going to start ombreing it up into gold. Now, let me tell you about the vinyl. I use uh, removable vinyl. This is called 631 removable vinyl. You want to use this because if you use the 651, it sticks, it's not gonna come up. It's a permanent vinyl. You wanna make sure that you're going to use something that's going to, um, to come up easily once you get it underneath your glitter. Another thing you'll need to know is because this is tapered, I had to piece together a couple of spots just to get it to look right but I uploaded three different chevron patterns to this group for you to use so that you can um, make this cup later if you want or anything else. Okay, so we know we're going to be using, we've already used the um, Luck of the Irish. We're going to be using the black that has no name and we're going to be using Pirate's Booty. The next thing we're going to be using is the Fairy Tale Magic Adhesive. This you can get at fairytale.com. Uh, the light's really bright. Um, this is what I use for the other method, um, but this is the one that I use. And let me tell you the difference between this and the Tacket me method. I'm not putting the Tacket method down. If that's what you have, then use it. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Now, the pros and cons are completely, the pros are the same. You're gonna get the same effect. The cons are that if um, you decide to wait a little while, 
using this, you have up to 24 hours to use it. It's going to stay tacky. Um, another thing that I like about this is it can be used on fingernails. And so you can put the fun glitters that you get on your nails as well. Take this with you to your, um, your person to do your nails. I've actually used it on my nails um, by the, myself. But this is what I'm going to use. I put it in a little cup and it doesn't take much. I mean, literally, it does not take much at all. You'll also need, I don't know if you guys saw me do my, um, my tips and hacks and stuff. This is just a uh, pool noodle that I put into a coffee cup and this is how I hold my um, brushes so that I know what I have and they dry quickly. So I have my brush and I have in here, uh, it's an old cup that I use and I put alcohol in it. So as I'm using it, I'm not wasting the, um, the brush. It's going to help me clean it later. So you want to make sure you have alcohol available. So I'm going to pull you guys down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing more because you're not here to see me. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you are gonna need something like this. Now I use these, these you can get on Amazon. This is really great for that really super fine, um, super, super fine glitter. I also use these. You can get six of these online. These are really, really great for if you want to work on your ombre, work your way up. I will contemplate using this, but when it comes to the super duper, ooper duper fine glitter, I like to use this one because the holes are really, really fine. I mean, so fine that even in this video, you really can't see them. And that way, when it goes out, it's going to spread and not come out in a clump. You'll see that in a little bit. So I'm going to pull you down so you can see what it is that I'm doing. Hopefully you can see all this. All right, so this was the cup that I made originally that gave me the idea to do this with you guys, except I did the taping and I couldn't decide which glitter to use, so this is the glitter that I used. Um, this is the Miss Piggy from January, February. Anyway, we got Miss Piggy in. I think it was from January, and so that's what's underneath here. This is the Luck of the Irish and this is Pirate's Booty. I love how this turned out. So I thought that I wanted to do something completely different, and this is the cup we're going to use today. You all should have gotten this cup in your kits, along with the, um, you'll get two of these, and you'll get the Pilsner. Um, we have other people that are working on the Pilsner to show you that one as well. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our glue, and as I said, it doesn't take much at all. You don't want a whole lot on here. That's probably even too much, too. I'll be putting it back into the glue thing. And I've had a, a jar of this that I think I used for almost a year before I ran out. And so if this is the first time I'm opening this one, that is probably way too much. All right, now I'm going to, I don't think I'm gonna do the bottom. I think I'm just gonna do the sides, so that way I can set it down. I'll take my brush, and we're going to brush this on, and guys, it doesn't take much. It literally spreads so great on these cups. You wanna do the entire cup, as I said, remember, you've got up to 24 hours to use this. It's going to stay tacky. And when you're done, just pour your leftover into your cup. I mean, into your bottle. You don't want to waste it. It goes a long way. Has anyone done the Tacket method? and would like an easier, more efficient way to do it. All I'm doing is brushing on the glue. I wanna make sure it's completely covered. This isn't like using Mod Podge. I mean, you can brush on and brush on and brush on all you want. Mod Podge is going to dry, this isn't gonna dry. And when you get it on your hands, I would suggest 
washing it almost immediately because it does not dry on your hands either. It's on my fingers. And if you knew me well enough, you would know that I don't like sticky on my fingers. So I'm gonna get baby white. What I'm out of. Nice. Note to self, buy baby wipes at the grocery store tomorrow. Does anyone have any questions about the glue that I'm using? It is the, show it to you again, Fairy Magic Adhesive from Fairy Tale Glitter. My lights are really bright, so I, it's not showing really, really well. I'll take a picture and upload it later so that you can see it. You can get it at fairytale.com. You want to make sure it's on all over the cup. You don't want to miss a spot. Now, the next thing you have to do with this glitter is you have, I mean, with this glue is you either let it sit for a while or you use your heat gun to help it dry. And that's what I'm going to do. I have my heat gun behind me. And I'm gonna let it dry so we can go to the next step. And you know it's dry because it completely disappears. It goes from a white to clear. I have a spot that just doesn't want to dry. I apologize. And I don't know why. Alright. We're going to move on and hope that that one um, decides to dry as we're getting everything prepped. Okay. As I said, you just take your extra, pour it back in for a later date. You do not want to waste this. I put my, my brush and a cup of alcohol. This way, later on, when it comes time to wash it, this stuff doesn't just wash off. If you don't take it off your brush as soon as you're done using it, it's not gonna come off. You have to throw your brush away and start over. Okay, now as I said, I got this is a tea strainer, Y-O-A-S-S-I, -S Yossi, and I got it on Amazon. I'm going to be using the black that has no name. I'm gonna call it Black Hole. So this is the Black Hole. And later on, when she comes up with the name, we'll let you know. But it does have the thank you note on the bottom, so it's completely different from any that I've gotten in the past. Dump some into the strainer. And I'm only going to do the bottom and a little bit into the top. You ready? I'm not. I need a piece of paper. There we go. Now, this is the fun part. Do y'all see how easy that's going on? all on the bottom and then I'm going to work my way up a little to the top
just a little because then I'm going to add some green to it and start ombreing it up. Okay, now I'm going to put the black back in here and add a little bit of the green to it. You don't want a whole lot of black because it will take over. I apologize, not the green, it's the gold. We're gonna add the gold to the black. You probably want more gold than black. So what I've done is I've mixed them together. So when I've mixed it together, I'll show you what it looks like. These are the two mixtures together. That's what's gonna make the ombre in the center. Go ahead and add that back. Work my way up. And I know that this is backwards than what y'all usually do, where y'all put your colors on and then you add your color in, but you'll see why in just a second. And now I'm going to do my gold. Now this is not something I can keep. I can probably use it for another thing, but I cannot add it back in, obviously, because they're a mixture. So I'm gonna put this aside and we'll go on to the gold. Put another paper. I ran out down here, let me get over here. Here's our paper, now we're going to put on the gold. Hello, Miss Stephanie. This is not gonna be anywhere near what you probably would do to it, but I'm gonna sure give it my old try. Stephanie's amazing at what she does. Okay, now I'm gonna do the gold on top. There's our ombre. I'm gonna put a little more gold around it. I'm gonna make sure it's completely covered before we start rubbing it in. All right, now I'm gonna put my gold away. The Pirate's Bootay away. So we can start having fun. Now, this is where the fingers come in crossed. Oh, don't be intimidated, girl. I can do it, you can do it. Okay, now we're going to start rubbing. And this is where the magic comes in. This is where you start seeing all of that black drawing you in like I said earlier. I'm going to do my ombre and pray it works. It should. I don't know if y'all see what it's doing. Ooh, I might have to turn my heater off. And if it leaves any spots, the best part about this is you just take a little bit of what you've rubbed off and you just tap it on. I've had that happen many times. It just means the glue didn't dry well enough there. Like right here. It happened, I'll just add a little bit more to it. Does anybody have any questions about what it is that I'm doing right now? Okay. Brush 
wash off all the extra. Now this is another thing that people have problems with with this. There's like little streaks in here. You just need to rub it a little harder. Get those streaks to rub in. That's all it means. This is not something I would do with a huge 100 cup order because it will give you a workout. But there's my ombre all the way up the cup. I can still feel some spots, but we are going to work on the chevron now. Okay, remember I used the 631, not the 651, because I want to be able to um, I want to be able to remove the vinyl that I have on there. I've got the on my hands and I don't want it to ruin my epoxy. I mean, not my epoxy, my vinyl. This stuff gets everywhere. Here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I use just a plain old, plain old set of tweezers in my fingers. That's all I use. And I start pulling it up. Now I've got it lapped over the top to start on the top and it just peels right off like that. Remember, I sanded this so it's still going to look a little rough. But since it's 6, 631, not 651, it's going to peel right up. The other day I used 651 and oh my gosh, I didn't think I was ever gonna leave this room. Have your tweezers, pull it up just a little bit. Just like that. Kind of a peekaboo effect. And after you're done with this, you need to seal it because you, you have to seal in this glitter. Here's the ombre. Remember, I, I sanded it, so it won't really be super duper sparkly until I put the epoxy back on or I seal it. And I seal it with the diamond sealer. It's just my go-to for everything. So does anyone have any questions for me? Super easy, I know. I think it's not my heater that's hot. I think it's just my hand down in this cup that's hot. Imagine making one of these for like a Charlie Brown cup. Yeah, how cool is that? I'm telling you guys, this stuff peels right up. So if you did do a, some kind of peekaboo with a super fine or a super intricate pattern, it would come right off. There's the top. The bottom doesn't have anything on it. I'm not going to do anything. I, I contemplated putting a cross on it, but then I thought, no, I didn't want it to take away from what I was doing on the top. Once you get it started, it shouldn't be any problem coming up. Remember I said earlier, I had to piece it together a little because this is a tapered cup. However, I did not have to do that with this one because it was up and down. This one was a lot easier to do because it is up and down. It does have some slight taper. You just cut it with a, um, an X-Acto knife and any of your extra chevron peaks, you just piece it together until it gives you the effect that you want. That's the only way to do this. I think the hardest part of this entire project was um, piecing it together like that. I have a company that asked me to donate to a fundraiser and I think I'm gonna donate this cup. Hi, Miss Jessica. Boy, you are live hopping today, aren't you? All right, one more to go. Then I'll seal it. 
And later on, I will show you how it looks after the epoxy's on there because of the, um, the sanding of my cup. All you have to do is get it started and it does all the work for you. This is the 20 ounce Traveler. Super duper fun to use. I'm seeing pieces that need to be rubbed in a little bit more. And the glitter from the March box, excuse me, the February box for March. The other day while I was doing the other cut because I used the wrong and I almost used the wrong vinyl again today. Um, it was every time I'd start pulling it, it would break. And so I had to make sure that I didn't do that with you guys because we would be here for the next two hours. All right, that's it. That's all there is to it. I used three of the glitters. You could still see the, the glitter poking out underneath if you don't like that. You could probably start with this glitter on the bottom. I wanted it to poke through. I knew it was going to poke through and be sparkly, but this is the Luck of the Irish underneath, super duper sparkly. And once that epoxy gets on there, it's going to be fantastic. And then on the bottom, it ombre up. That was my intention and it worked and I'm so stoked. So now this will go. Oh, I didn't do anything with the bottom. I didn't want to do anything with the bottom. So that's what the Luck of the Irish looks like. Now I'm going to seal it with, you, there are a couple of things you can seal this with. I seal mine with my go-to sealer, the diamond sealer, and that's just me. Um, but you can seal it with hairspray. I don't know if y'all remember um, from, I don't know if I have it anywhere near me. I think it's on my other shelf. From the 80s, Aquanet. Aquanet works great. You can use that. Um, you can use glitter sealer. You can use whatever kind of sealer you want. But make sure before you do anything that involves epoxying that if you run your hand on it, that the glitter's not moving. Because once you start epoxying it, there's the ombre up on the top. And I wanted the gold and the green to poke through at the bottom. So you still see that sparkle in there. That is that. But you've got that black in there. And I will probably epoxy this later this evening. So it's ready for tomorrow. So does anyone thank you guys? I think it's great. I'm really glad it turned out. I was a little leery about it, but that's just me. That's the way my, my brain works until it's done. Now, I've had some flops. Oh yeah. Anyone have any questions for me? No? Y'all are awesome. Did you get your packet? Everybody, I mean, the I think Jessica and Rusty, I sent y'all some mail. I hope y'all got your mail in. Um, this is what I'm going to be working on tonight because this weekend on Saturday, I'm going to be teaching. I don't know if you have. You could see that, but that's double-sided tape. In a minute, I'm about to try to figure out how to do a stained glass look um, using the wine glass from last month. So if you guys are interested in seeing this, pop on over to Puzzle Tumblers this weekend. I think I have it scheduled for six. So we have, I'm doing two cups, I'm doing two different methods. One, you won't believe I'm using regular markers. I know, shocked myself. Um, yeah, I've got a surprise coming for you. You've been so helpful to me and putting up with my questions and everything that I've popped a little surprise in the mail for you. So um, yeah, come on over. I'm gonna be doing, I have the, 30 ounce, I mean the 20 ounce Traveler, and I'm going to be doing, I believe I'm probably going to be doing probably a 30 ounce curve, just because it's bigger and you'll be able to see it more, so. Hi, Ms. Deneen. So, 
You missed it. You'll have to go back and look. I hope you guys have a great, great evening. I hope that I was able to teach you a little something that um, you can do with the glitters that you got in your kit. And I uploaded the chevrons to the um, page and you should be able to use it. There's three different kinds. It says chevron one, chevron two, and chevron four. I don't know why it says four. There was only three for me to choose from. But um, I've uploaded them. They're skinnier and wider. So it's really kind of up to you. This is the middle one. I believe this is two. So, and then there's some that are skinnier and some that are wider. So it just depends on which one you want to use. So anyway, I hope you guys, <laughs> yeah, you'll have to go back and look because it's, it's, it's just, it's the using our super ultra fine glitters that we got in our kit along with the fairy tale magic glue. So anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. I'm here for you always. Pop a question in on the message board or send it to me, Jennifer Stratton Short. Doesn't bother me any time of day or night. I can answer your questions. I hope you guys have a great, great evening. Take care of yourself. Bye.